super excited to be here with you. And so we're ready to get into it. Do you have a bucket list that you're waiting to the end of life to complete? Well, as a young child, I was always bubbling with personality. My pops called me a bubbling brook. Tasha, don't you get on that table. And of course, I tiptoe out of sight. And when no one's looking, I jump up on that table and I belt out my rendition of Doe a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Like I was a part of the Sound of Music cast. I did whatever I wanted to do. Even in the face of negative consequences and punishment, I chose my own path and beat by my own drum. So of course I moved through life and I'm gro moving and grooving. I never lost my edge. I finally figured out high school, but to my surprise, I was abruptly ripped from South Carolina, taken from my senior year of high school and moved to the desert. Fast forward to graduation day, I'm behind the wheel of my 1982 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra. This was my car that I used my own money to fix up and maintain. I'd never had this level of freedom before. So I'm driving back to South Carolina with the wind whipping through my hair. I felt like I could do anything. I could be anything. There was no limitations. Nothing was going to hold me back. So I lived my life bold and courageous. I learned early in life that if you're willing to deal with the consequences, you can do pretty much anything you want to do. And so I was bold, courageous, like a wild Mustang. No one was going to stop me or box me in. No one was going to put a bridle on me. Some people say that that's rebellious, but I call it practicing my leadership skills. <laughs> so of course through life I had a lot of cheers, some fanfare, applause from my sphere of influence. My amazing family, they always made me feel supported. And of course, I was well-liked among my peers because of my jovial personality and my adventurous ways. My motto was, there was no experience too large or issue too big that I wasn't willing to try at least once. So that was my life. I was dripping with favor, favor, favor. So I'm riding high, 100 miles per hour, enjoying my life when I ran smack dab and to a brick wall, I was shell-shocked. What happened to my perfect life? What happened to all of the joy and excitement I was experiencing? I was suffocating, drowning in my own tears. I lost my breath. Life had knocked the wind right out of me. In my perfect world, with my perfect life. My husband decided he wanted a divorce and there was no stopping him or changing his mind. Please don't go, please stay, we can work it out, we can figure it out. I was on my knees begging him to stay. Month after month went by and I was just crying and praying and praying and crying, hoping he would change his mind. Eventually enough time went by and I was tired of dragging myself through life, just barely making it, barely existing. I pondered praying and asking the Lord, please just take me now. But I knew my daughter was watching me and she needed me. So I had to pull it together. There was a glimmer of light that kept pulling me. There was a spark of hope that ignited something in me and said, You've got to live, girl. You've got to go forward, girl. You've got to get up out of this space. I was at a crossroads, so I had a decision to make. I knew that if this was going to be my new reality, being depressed and broken in that pit of despair, then I wanted no parts with that life. So I had to figure it out. I had to make a choice. So I got busy researching how to break free 
from depression? How was I going to get out of these depressive chains that were choking the life out of me? And so I kept reading list after list, scrolling through website after website. And I found out that confidence is the key that any successful person needs to have in order to have a successful life. That's that reassurance, that self-assurance in your abilities, in your gifts, your qualities. Are you confident and do you appreciate that? That's confidence. So I got busy on a quest of finding my confidence. I knew my life was worth more than what I was experiencing day in and day out. And so I wanted to go find my amazing, magnificent life and get the joy back. And that's exactly what I did. So as an empowerment specialist, I get to work with people from all walks of life. People are frustrated, living miserable lives because they've lost their confidence and they've lost their sense of purpose. And it doesn't matter, maybe you struggle with finances or you've experienced rejection, but it's also people who have six figures in their bank account, they're wearing their tailored suit, they look good on the outside, but they are struggling with their confidence on the inside. And yeah, they know how to do all the stuff, they know how to get up, go to work, go through the motions of life, but they're just existing, they're not thriving. Their lives are on autopilot. So I was able to work one-on-one -on -one with clients all around the globe using my trauma to help bring healing to others and help them build their confidence, transform their mindset. So another way to get your confidence up is you've got to engage in fun activities that energize you. Like my friend said, you, you've got to dance a little, right? Not only dancing, but things that will cause you to take risk and step outside of your comfort zone. And so I love watching people. We call it people watching. And I love observing people in their daily lives. And so I would see women in their 80s. They were traveling internationally, teaching aerobics classes. They were still playing tennis, having the time of their lives, living these carefree, fancy lives. And then I saw women in their 50s. They had already given up hope. They already felt like they had given everything they had to give to the world. They had lost their confidence and their sense of purpose, and they just assumed not even exist anymore. Talk about discouraging. So I started to hear more and more about people talking about this idea of a bucket list, waiting to the end of life to really start enjoying your life. I said the person who came up with the idea of the bucket list must be ludicrous. Who in the world is going to wait until the end of their life to start having the time of their life? Why would you wait for tomorrow what you could be enjoying today? So I decided I was going to live. I made a conscious decision that I was going to enjoy my life right here, right now, and build my confidence in the process. So I got busy working on my bucket list. I started to take new risks, travel more, try out new things, and my confidence began to grow. It was like I became clarity and clear. The blues were bluer, the greens were greener, even the air smelled fresher. The oxygen was returning to my lungs. The joy was lighting up my eyes again. Not only that, I found my purpose. I was able to help other people build their confidence. As an empowerment specialist coach, I was rocking it out, but guess what? I was also moving and grooving in my personal career as a teacher, then I was promoted to an assistant principal, then principal, then director. And I noticed as I was gaining my confidence, my students began to flourish. And then other people around me. Not only was I changing, but those around me were being infused with confidence too. And so that was what was bringing the joy into my life and I wanted to do that more. Confidence is what unlocks the extraordinary in life. If you will commit to building your confidence, you will find that you're more resilient as you're going through life and life's challenges. 
Confidence is like having that steel rod in your back that you can square your shoulders and you can stand tall and move forward even in the face of adversity. Individuals who have their confidence and are practicing building their confidence are willing to take more risk. They're more successful when they pursue opportunities when compared to their peers who don't. Confidence is not only about personal growth, but it's also a, about embarking on unforgettable adventures, even those on your bucket list. When you possess unwavering confidence, you become unstoppable. You're able to pursue those opportunities with passion and conviction. You're able to embrace challenges that come as stepping stones to achieving your greatness. Now, taking risks can be intimidating, but it is through these leaps of faith that we truly grow. I took the leap of faith. I began to write and publish more books, and so now I get to enjoy the status of being an international Amazon number one best-selling author. Talk about taking risks and being excited about that next step. Remember, confidence is not a destination, it's a journey. It's all about Embracing who you are, your unique strengths, your vulnerabilities, accepting your vulnerabilities, and believing in yourself wholeheartedly. You deserve to live a life full of purpose, excitement, and fulfillment. So today, right now, we're going to transform our thinking and we are going to be intentional about creating a life that's worth living, creating a life full of joy, creating a life full of excitement. So when you finish listening to this talk, I want you to identify that one thing that you've been putting on the back burner, and you're gonna make a tangible plan in the next 60 to 90 days to do that one thing. And here's what's gonna happen when you do that one thing. You're going to discover and create a newfound confidence that you never knew that you had. And you're going to show up in the world in a more impactful way. Not only that, but through your example, you're going to cause others to want to live their lives confidently. So I want you to take the, the leap and begin to fulfill your bucket list today. And I want to hear about your success. I want to be your partner as you discover this confident adventure within you. You're standing at the edge of a cliff, waiting for an exhilarating adventure that's right below. With the, your belief and your strengths and your abilities, I want you to take the courage and dive headfirst into life's adventures. <laughs>